Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. I figured that um you know welcoming you back to a place is better than welcoming you back to a game, but in any case, yep, um this is MH Geek here and now I'm just going to upgrade my Yukumo farm. So I've been um gathering quite a number of points as you can see up there. So I'm just gonna spend some of it I guess. Let's see. What's really important is the mushroom logs because this allows me to get more mushrooms and more mushrooms means more arrow coatings. Yes, I couldn't find the words for a moment there. And yes, having a better field road means um, not a better field road. Not a, bad, bad, not a better field road, but an extra field road. So this adds another one and I think um, two should be fine for now. I would actually want to get some um, bark perfume because why not? More variety of bark would be good. Mega BBQ speed. I don't see the immediate need for it yet, so I guess should I get the field roll? Ah, uh, let's just get it. All right, and here we go. So we're gonna head into the farm and just this is just gonna be a quick little maintenance video and. After which a short simple quest. And that should be all for today. So first off, um yes, I can plant more stuff. So I'm just gonna fertilize it with dung and uh put in more herbs for this one and um I'll throw in the antidotes. Antidote herb, yes. Because sooner or later we're going to face against poison monsters and it would be good to be able to have antidotes at the ready. So now yeah, I can change the type of bait I would like to use so let me use the black bug perfume instead of the regular one and yeah. Alright so that is it. So now I am just going to follow up with a short quest or two depending on the time and we shall see it seems like you were successful in your quest to defeat the Azuros so thank you very much and I think I can count on you definitely so new quests one is in the sandy plains and the other is in the flooded forest so the sandy plains is a desert and yep it is a harsh place um, your stamina is set by the midday heat or the icy nights, so stock up accordingly. In which she means bring cold drinks or hot drinks um, based on the respective time of the day. When it's at night, it's gonna be really really cold, so you're gonna have to bring hot drinks, else you'll lose stamina very quickly. Quick, quick, quickly. Blah, my tongue. And um, if it's in the day, it's gonna be really hot, and you'll gradually lose health um, unless you drink a hot drink. No, no, not hot drink, a cold drink, yeah. <laughs> I apologize for that mistake. And the flooded forest is a tropical forest and you can go there for fish and herbs. And yep, so there's abundant supply of materials if you know what to look for. Alright, thank you for the advice. So here are the two star quests. So there are a couple of key quests, um, but this one is basically the 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 urgent quest that we completed in the the one star. So it's considered as cleared in the 2 star. So right now, I actually need some Ludroff parts to upgrade my bow. So I'm gonna take on this quest. And hold on, let me check my items. Uh, okay, they're all good. Let's rock on! Or roll out, whichever you are. Sweet. Alright, so this is the flooded forest. As you can see, it's uh, raining almost 24-7 there's a beautiful waterfall and I hope the frame rate doesn't tank too much when I hit the waterfall because yeah my laptop isn't that capable as simple as that I apologize I'm still in the process of getting my desktop um, one either fixed or two um, you know, building a new one from scratch. So, uh, either way, it's just gonna cost me money. I I am sad. 
I am really sad with that. I have no idea why things have to happen this way. So, oh my gosh! I was not expecting him to jump this far. I was wrong. Oh, oh my... Oh, oh, ow, 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 stop it, you. Oh, oh no, the other is... Oh, nice one, cats. Very much appreciated. Oh. Evanko is there, distracting them. So I shall take the chance to... Shoot! I shall not disappoint! I hope I do not at least shoot. Okay, down. Are they both dead? Yes, they're both down. Alright, time to carve them. Monster bone. Not too bad. I could use the juvenile sponge or hydro hydea, yeah, that's nice. Alrighty. There are some neat materials that we can gather here as well, according to the um, guild master. No, guild master. What am I saying? The chief, the guild chief. Yeah, village chief, guild chief. No, the 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 village chief. Yes. Um, the guild person that I was thinking of is the small little midget guy in the guild hall, which I've yet to talk to yet. So yeah, I guess I'll talk to him later on. So this is not going to be the most exciting of um, episodes. <laughs> well, you tell me. What would you like to see? More of um, random stuff like this with useless... Um, not useless, but a little bit more informative, less action-packed. Or would you just like them to be all action-packed all the way? Just gonna... Uh, ouch! Oh, actually, thank you. That was nice. Although I would like to get a more. But, meh. I guess I'll just uh, hit off this cliff. Whee! Oh damn. I believe one of my cats is now poisoned. Alright. So, oh. Nope, you're not gonna reach me. I'm just gonna shoot that one that's coming over. Because um, the one right beside me is currently out of critical distance. I'm gonna shoot this one now. And, oh, it's. Dead. I'm gonna hit over and carve it quickly before it disappears. Well, here we go. Yes, immature sponge. That is nice. Um, gonna just hurry up and try and finish up this one. Oh, it backed off. Why? Oh, no! Don't come close. I want my personal space. What? Are, what are you biting at? All right. Are you? Are you done for? Yes, you're done for. Oh, oh dear. They aggroed the neutral mob. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I'm gonna get out of there. This guy is actually... He has some pretty neat materials. Last I recall. There is a quest that involves us killing him. Like, not him per se, but... I don't remember if it's a... Key quest. If it is, we'll see it again. Or not. Depending on what, depending on what you guys... Um, you know, comment on, I guess. But if there's, no gon if, if there's not going to be any comments uh, in the short time to come, I'll just keep going on with the key quests. And yeah, just the key quest. La la la. Oh, Bufangos. Uh, nah, I'm out. Not interested. I'm not interested in what you're selling. Nope. Just nope. Okay, area 4. There we go, more Ludrovs. Um, how many more do I need, actually? Oh, just one more! Sweet! Alright, they're heading straight for me. Just gonna launch an arrow raid to hit as many of them as possible. Oh, just ran out. Darn. Get back to your... Get back to the raid zone! Oh, he just beat his friend, how nice. Oh, I could do this as well. Yeah, I forgot. Raid! Oh. Wow, we're done. Okay. That's fast. Just gonna carve this guy quickly. Oh, he's like so scared. Like, no, no, I don't wanna die too. <laughs> well, too bad. Your life is mine. Yep. Here we go. Time to carve him. Oh, we can fish here. Not that I really need fish. So, um, well, there aren't many uses for fish for a bow, 
user, but you have a lot of uses for fish if you are a bow gun user, because uh, most of the ammunition comes from fish. And if otherwise, goldfish, uh, goldfish gives quite a good amount of gold, as, as in money you can sell them. Yeah, so otherwise, I'm not too sure what else. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember. You can cook fish. And in doing so, you can get the similar effects to the Yukumo egg, otherwise known as the hot spring egg. So this was actually fairly fast. I'm not sure what should I proceed with. Oh, raw meat, that's nice. More inverse sponge. Um, rewards, nice. All, all are good. All the merrier. Yes, I would like to save. Okay, so... Let me just head up to the guild hall. And... Actually, you know what? I think we have enough time for another quest. So let's just bring on the poisonous rogi. And the quest is essentially to take down... Uh, 10 rogis tiny rogis, not the great ones. So rogis are basically um, they are very similar to the jagi except that they have a special trait which allows them to speed poison. So obviously poison uh, can be cured with antidotes but because they are just like the smaller ones, like they are not the great rogi, they are not the boss monsters, their poison doesn't really do much. It can be annoying though, I must admit. And like the Juggy, they hunt in packs, they like to stick around a lot together, so they can be quite a nuisance. So I'm just gonna... oh. Oh no, oh, oh, okay. He, he missed me, but Cat took it for me. Thank you, Cat. I mean, thank you, Avan Go. <laughs> just gonna hurry up and shoot him to death. Fire off the arrow rain. And... I can't aim it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Is he dead? Should be. Yep. The other guy disappeared already. <laughs> oh, doesn't matter. Alrighty, so where else would they be? Hmm. Let's see, area 7. Anyone here? Ooh, honey. I don't mind getting more honey. Honey can also be obtained from uh, your Yukumo farm when you subsequently get your bee box. Yep. And... The bee box, uh, I can't remember what is the requirements to make it, but... Yeah, well, we'll see when we get there. Okay, that's about enough. Oh, there are... Yeah, I do remember them at Area 9. They should be somewhere around there. Any of them there? Anyone home? Oh yes, there's... no, wait. There's no one. They're the ants, though. Wow. How about Area 10? Why did they all disappear all of a sudden? That's not very nice. I need to kill 10 of you after all. They're all gone! What?! This is... blasphemy. Where did they all go? I cannot complete my quest without killing 10 of them. Oh gosh. This is... amusing, to say the least. Oh, there's some Kelbys over there. Just gonna leave them be for now. Don't really need any of their materials. Although when I do someday, I'll probably have to kill like a bunch of them. So only those neutral ones around. Um, I can't remember what's the name. It starts with letter the letter Z though, as far as I know. Uh, there's a mining spot right there that I just ran past and completely ignored. I I did see it. I just I just just can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm just like completely slapping myself myself in the face, saying that how important it is to gather materials and ores and stuff as a Hunter, and yet I'm not doing any of that. What a hypocrite. 
Oh my god, seriously, only one arrow hit that? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, eat some of these. Eat these again. More. Yep, there they go. Oh, whoa, you're still alive. Cut you. Slash you. You got wrecked by a melee bow user. You know, I wonder if they could actually make it viable for bow users to play completely melee. I mean, that, that completely defeats the point of using a bow, but it would just be funny. Five monsters left. Alright. I'm not really worried about um, picking up items from the Rogi because I'm not really interested in any of their gear. Um, in before, I suddenly realized that I, need, I require a few of their parts, but, um, well. I'll do that off camera if I really need their parts. <laughs> oh no, my bug net has broken! Oh, Royal Rhino, nice. Flash bug. Any more? Nah, no more. Okay, let's check out Area 3. Okay, past the lee pads, and here we go. Anyway, whoa, there's a Awashira here. I mean, uh, Azuros here. But he just, wow, he just completely ignored me. I okay. Oh no, Ludroff, please nope, please nope. Ow. Okay, that hurt. I get the point. Stop it. Oh my gosh, he's just jumping all over the place. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Okay, that one's dead. Okay, so I can just leave that be. Let me just carve this Rogi because he hit me. And I do not like that. So I do need to get, um, let's see. Oops, wrong button. Three more. Three more. That shouldn't be too hard, I guess. E None of them here. I'm hoping they'll be at area 2, but let's just take a peek. And just three more. Yes! One, two, th three! Oh, oh no. What? Oh no! Stay away from me! I want my personal space! You're not giving me any of it! I'll rain you down with arrows of doom and justice! That makes no sense, but yeah. Well, the reason why I'm using air arrow rain so much now is because I'm hitting multiple targets. So, um, yeah, I just this just means that I'm lazy at aiming, in, aiming, and <laughs> killing them individually. So, yep, and here we go. Objective clear. Monster bone. Yep, that's always useful. And I'm just gonna grab this guy as well. So, oh, um, you can see like there's this weird red triangular, inverted triangular icon um, right beside Arax. That's basically a defense down. Um, you can get inflict inflicted by such uh, debuffs by the ants when they spit at you. Yeah, like this, this nasty little critter ants. So I'm just gonna leave them be. There's, it's difficult to get items from them because um, similar to the Banabra, which are the flying insects, if you were to do too much damage to them, essentially you overkill them, you would be unable to get their parts because the whole body just explodes. So the best way to kill them and still obtain their parts is to basically poison them. Yeah, and I'm here just, you know, randomly wandering around hoping to find any mining veins or something. Apparently there's none. I'm sad. So yes, that's uh, that's mainly how you collect materials from the insects. Otherwise, um, killing them by brute force is usually not the best way to go. Yeah, that's that's all I can say. So yep, that is it for now, and I hope you enjoyed this short episode. Um, not very eventful, so just a little bit of housekeeping and uh the less interesting quests, and yeah. So on the next episode we'll be taking on uh, hopefully one or two of the larger monsters depending on how things go. And so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed your time. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, 
whatever, do the socials. And yeah, see you again next time. MHK signing out.